So I've made a bunch of different videos, which I link to in the upper right-hand corner of this video, about different kinds of units, whether it's the ampere or something like that. But in this video, we're going to go over what a Newton meter is, because there's a little bit of confusion, because there's kind of like, maybe like two different kinds of Newton meters. But before we get started, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Get all my excellent physics, chemistry, and math videos. You can comment. You can give me a thumbs up, and you can share, support my channel, Step-by-Step Step Science. Thank you very much. I always appreciate it. Now, when we talk about Newton meter, we can talk about it in two different contexts. One context is in the context of work, and the other context is in the context of torque. And we are going to go over what a Newton meter is, is in both cases, work and torque. And we're going to start with work. So let's go on and talk about what we talk about a Newton meter when we talk about work. Now remember, work has a very specific physics definition. In order to be doing work, you have to apply a force through a distance. So work is when you apply a force through a distance, like when you push something or pull something or raise something. And we calculate the amount of work that you do. We say that work W is equal to the force that you apply and the distance through which that force is applied. Now, as example, or as an example, here's a shopping cart, and we're going to apply a force of one Newton to that shopping cart, and guess what? We're going to push that shopping cart through a distance of one meter, and gee, I wonder how much work we did when we did that when we applied one Newton through a distance of one meter. Let's calculate that. We see that that's one Newton times one meter, and that is equal to, you could say, I'm not even going to say, well, maybe I'll say it. You could say that's one Newton meter, because a one times one is one, and a Newton times a Newton is a Newton meter. Now, but we don't use that unit like that when we talk about work, because you know that the units for work and energy is the joule. So we just skip over the whole Newton meter thing, and we just say that's one joule of work. But we know one joule of work means that, in, for example, we could have applied a force of one distance, now one newton, through a distance of one meter. And we can abbreviate that as one joule like that. So that's one kind of kind of like newton meter, but really we don't say newton meter, we say joule. And one joule is equal to one newton meter, which is when you, for example, apply distance of one newton through a Newton, uh, force of one newton through a distance of one meter. You can remember also that the units for energy is also the joule. We don't say newton meters for energy either. We say joules. And for example, it's for all kinds of energy, but also specifically when you want to talk about kinetic and potential energy or mechanical kinds of energy when we're talking about this work in this case for mechanics. Okay, So that's one kind of newton meter, which isn't really a newton meter because it's a joule. The other kind of Newton meter, which when we actually say Newton meter, is when we talk about torque. And this is the symbol for torque. Torque is that symbol, that's tau, that's the Greek letter tau. And a torque is, people aren't maybe fam so familiar with work, uh, torque is there about work, but torque is what we can often refer to as a turning force. It's a force that causes something to turn or causes something to rotate, and we calculate it. It's really the same kind of equation. We use tau. And this is R, this is the distance, or the lever arm is the distance from the pivot around which something is turning, but it's just a distance. And this is the force which we would again apply in meters. And we can talk about that oftentimes. We talk about, say we have a bolt or something we want to turn like this, and we get our bolt wrench, our wrench out like that. And normally when we turn this, we grab it right here, and we turn it, we apply a force over the force in, in the distance. Okay, but when we're going to say for simplicity, we're going to that we would apply a force of one newton from right here, and we're going to say now this is a really long wrench. It's actually one meter long or one meter to that point right there. So in this case, this is the lever arm. It's the distance from the pivot point. R is the lever arm. It's the distance from the pivot to the point at which the force is applied. So we say we're applying the force of one newton one meter away from the pivot. We can calculate the torque kind of like the same way we calculate the work. The torque is one newton because we're applying a one newton force. And it's at a distance of one meter. Now, you'll notice here this is the lever arm and the for or the distance and the force. But I'm going to switch these around because we say newton meter. We don't say meter newton. And so this is one newton of force applied one meter away from the 
pivot point, and we can just say that the torque is one newton meter. Okay, we don't say joule. We don't say the torque is equal to one joule. You can't say it in this case. Don't say that in this case. Okay, so for work, we say joule, but for torque, we don't say joule. We say one newton meter. Okay, so I hope that clears things up. I do get questions about that occasionally. What's the difference between the torque and the newton meter and the work and the joule? All right, so there you go. I hope that clears that up. Thank you very much for watching. hope you found that helpful. If you did, please do all of the following four things. Subscribe to my channel, Step-by-Step -step Science. Get all my excellent physics, chemistry, and math videos. You can give me a thumbs up for this video. You can leave me a nice positive comment in the comment section below. Thank you very much. I always appreciate to get your comments. And don't forget, sharing is caring. Share this video with all your friends. Show them just how much you care. Thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next video.